All right, if you catch the glimpse of the moon looking a little bit like this, don't be alarmed. It's because of a total lunar eclipse. It'll be happening uh, later this week. It's really neat. I you ever know. seen Chris, this? Chris, join us with uh, what you know. No, I haven't. So th these are really, really neat. The only problem with this one is it's going to be really, really late at night. So you're going to have to go to bed really early and then set the alarm. Not happening. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> we work night either. shift. I'll try to record. I have some recording equipment. Maybe I can record it. But yeah, maybe uh, you can share the video with us. Yeah, maybe I. We'll see if it, you know, pans out. It's yeah. a little high up there, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So what happens here is, um, as the Earth is orbiting the Sun, the Moon is orbiting the Earth. Okay. And at some points, okay. let me step out real quick. All three will line up just like that. And so what a lunar Lunar eclipse is, it's when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. Now, what's going to happen here is enough sunlight will still move through the Earth's atmosphere and give the moon this blood red color. And that's why the full moon during the month of March is called the blood moon. It's going to look really, really neat. Now, what about when this all takes place? So this is going to be Thursday night, and the partial eclipse begins right around 1:10 in the morning. You can see a little bit of a, a shadow here. The total eclipse begins around 2:26, and that'll run right through 2:50 in the morning and that's when it takes on that complete red color then we get into the partial eclipse again and then everything ends right around 447 in the morning obviously we're going to need clear skies for this and right now it looks like mother nature is going to give us that we're going to see just a couple of clouds around 109 again that's when everything begins maybe it's just a few clouds otherwise mainly clear at 68 and then right around the point of totality 230 in the morning we're looking at again mainly clear skies with just a couple clouds around very comfortable temperatures too so if you're the night owl and you can stay up, I highly recommend it because this is going to look really neat. If you want me to come to work the next day, I'm going to sleep through <laughs> it and just see the beautiful days, pictures right? the next day. <laughs> I do have both of my kids are sick. Oh, then save them. You're going to need them. 2.30 in the morning. All right, Chris, thank you.